All right, man, behind the scenes, All good right. morning. Good morning. And what a beautiful morning it is. Why are we working today? I don't know. It's amazing. We got, we got a little too much rain to work on our other jobs. So you know what today's project is now? What is it now? Is to make sure I stay in the family. Yeah. All right, this is one of those family projects that should have been done a long time ago that mm -hmm. hasn't quite got done. And let's just say, long story short, grandma's not very happy no, with me. No, she's not. <laughs> so, and now mom's mad now because we're doing mad. grandma's you job and not mom's that, job. Yeah, you picked grandma over her. Maybe so. mom should have just had twins and it would have yeah. fixed a lot of problems. <laughs> Make the world get a handle yeah, on me. Yeah, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know if it works that way, so. All right, so we are back down here on the family farm. You guys may or may not have seen a Captain Cleman video a long time ago hauling all this chert in here. We hauled this load of chert in here with a side dump, which was pretty slick. Long story short, this building up here, you want to know a random fun fact about that building? Yeah, let's hear it. That building pad right there was the first time I ever ran a bulldozer. Really? That, that one there, huh? Yeah. You want to know something That's else? It's like 50, 60 years old then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you want to know something else interesting about that? The dozer I ran that day, which is the first, I guess, I don't know if it was the first actual dozer, but the first actual dozer I ran to do actual real work. Work, yeah. Was the last dozer your grandpa probably ever ran. Oh, really? Which is owned was by it? a mutual friend. Yeah, yeah. Brandon's dozer, the old D4. Yeah, okay. So, I got a picture somewhere. If I got it, I'll throw it up, so... Anyways, yeah, back in the day, dad was an equipment operator. We rented a dozer from a friend. Uh, actually put the road in over to camp. We put this building pad in. And uh, this road has been kind of reworked over the years. Whenever this building pad went in, there used to be a three-story house right here. And the house got tore down. The grain bin got built. We had a big flood. These grain bins are still actually in the floodplain. This one is just high enough it's out of the floodplain. Long story short, the road has just been kind of whatever, whatever it takes to get up mm -hmm. through there. And we got the classic issue was to the road slower than everything else now, which the road becomes the ditch. And grandma can't get her Cadillac up there and she's not happy yeah, about she it. She don't like that, does she? <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. I say all that to say we're going to go up there, put a culvert in, try to catch some of the water coming off the hill in the barn, get it diverted on. We actually got a little diversion ditch goes across this hillside to catch water before it gets to the bend. Catch that water, kick it across, so it hopefully stops coming down here, washing out our turnaround area. Uh, we're going to take the chert, build the road up, and then I got a load of rock on the truck. We'll cap everything off, and then see if I get a Christmas present. That's right. That's the goal. You're going to put me in on that Christmas present, too? Well, if you tell Grandma you're the reason we're here, you'll exactly. probably get a bigger That's present than I am. Yeah, I'm going to have to tell her. I'll just let you deal with Mom. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, she's starting to get unhappy with me because you don't listen to me. Well, I hate to tell them, but mom and grandma are two of a kind. Yeah. <laughs> they are very difficult sometimes. So, uh, all right, where do we start? Well, we scrounged up what equipment we had available today. <laughs> we got two old pieces and a new one in the middle. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're yeah. a little limited on resources, but we're going to try to make it work with what we got. So. so I guess we need to clear a way for you to start on that culvert first. Huh? Yeah, and then this quality, this this shirt here we hauled in with a side dump. Obviously, it's not as good as quality as what we hauled in up there. Should have let, you should have just let clean and haul it all and we'd have quality. Sure. Yeah, but remember we were trying to uh, demonstrate to the side dump guys that their trailer was going to flip over and we failed miserably because yeah. their trailer worked great. It worked great, yeah. <laughs> so that didn't work. <laughs> uh, I guess won't you hop in the hop in the Hyundai yep. CTL? What are we going to call that thing? HT100? HT100. Yep. What's HT going to stand for? We got to come up with something clever. Oh, I high track? <laughs> yeah, high track. <laughs> That's all I got. 100 victory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, it's got V at the end. <laughs> uh, I think the V's for vertical lift. I don't know what the HT's for. We should probably figure that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, why don't you hop in the skid steer, and uh, let's go up there and figure out where we're going to put that pipe in at. And, Hyundai uh, toy. <laughs> Hyundai, HT, Hyundai, Hyundai toy. toy. I think it should be Hyundai tool. Hyundai tool. Yeah, not toy. All right. Let's do something. All right. What do you want me to do with it? Shove it off? I say take and put it up high. I think we end up needing it up higher. All right, right here, take it. 
take it up the top side. Yep. the hang of that little guy man he is ridiculously quick but it is controllable which is a good thing so i don't know if you guys can see there's a little bit of a diversion ditch right here it catches all the water coming off the hill so basically you want to take that pipe continue it straight on through and then we'll catch that water on the other side of the road and get it to come across Quiet too. It's one disadvantage of that uh, 550. It was so loud trying to work around it. This thing here is not bad at all. I think you can come around from the other side and get that if you want to. machine We've got some little bit of working room here. Let's go grab the 304. Work on getting us a little ditch in here. Get us some pipe rolled in. See if we can make it work. This thing is so hard to video out of because the visibility is horrible. Trust me, it's just as hard for me to see as what it is for you guys to see. Kind of why it's my least favorite piece of equipment, but like I said before, we just don't use it enough to justify buying something different. So we're gonna have to get by. We're just gonna have to struggle through this together, guys. We're just gonna have to struggle through this together. So I'm actually gonna track down here a little bit clean out some of this terrace it's got a little bit of settlement in it up at high that should help us get a little bit of depth when we go uh, underneath this road up here the majority of this dirt work here in this area was done with that old D69U dozer down there believe it or not This was my playground as a kid, so it's crazy to come back down here with some... It's crazy to see a brand new Hyundai skid steer down here running around, and then you look over there at that old dozer and see where it all started. That should give us some 
nice dip. Yeah, there. Yeah. clean out this last little bit right here I may kind of see how that pipe falls in there before I get too carried away doing much more with it perfect grab a pipe I think that's going to fit in there pretty well. We like to have it's a 20 foot pipe. We got that other pipe down there. I can take about five foot off of and maybe give us a little bit of extra room on either side. This is a high traffic road and there's a bunch of heavy trucks coming in out of here, wide trucks. Probably would do that, but it's just a 60 horse tractor and a few little cars here and there. So the 20 foot is going to be plenty wide. We don't ever load anything heavy out of here. We just track it down. We got the big parking area down there. And I got another place on the farm, we can use that full stick of pipe. It'll be much better served than using five foot over here. So I like what I'm seeing. This also gives us enough room over here to kind of dish this out a little bit and get that water directed in there, but still keep that mobile and manageable. Uh, long story short, I'm sold. We can make this work. Let's get her covered up. I'm going to throw a little chert over top of it get that uh, set and then we'll start getting these piles busted out they let them sit for an hour or two kind of let the sun hit on we got about three inches of rain yesterday so a little bit on the wet side had to come down and grab a battery for the gopro i think aaron's got the got the little hyundai all figured out he's been zooming around here
What do you think? I love it. <laughs> I like that thing. Just having a lot of fun with that. We're not buying it. At least not, not today. Not today. Huh? <laughs> it looked uh, it looked pretty slick moving around there. Scoots along pretty dang quick. It's hard to tell because it's got a smaller bucket than the 240. Whatever size bucket that is, it handles it with ease. Yeah. There's no because uh, this material is heavy. Yeah. Especially whenever it's wet. So. All right, I got the pipe in up there. You gonna let me? Uh, you gonna let me play a little bit, or are you gonna take all the fun? I'll let you play. You got ten minutes. Ten minutes. That's, yeah. that's my limit, huh? Ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes in regular time, not. Time oh, I was gonna time, not, yeah. not YouTube time. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes ten minutes and YouTube times all day. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> all right, so we need to bring a little bit of that material back this way. Basically, what we want to do is just kind of build that road up so it don't uh, the road's not the ditch. Mm -hmm. This is the same old song and dance. That's like road yeah. building 101. Road must be higher than ditch. Yeah, yeah. Anybody out there saying about building a road? Building road must be higher than ditch. It's like the third the time day. this year. Yeah. yeah. Actually, we're still trying to finish yeah. up the other problem. Yeah. See, we're on YouTube time now. We're going to have them all confused. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> they think the other job's already done. And it ain't. Because they've probably seen that video first, but it's not. Yep. Yeah. Are you guys confused? Because I'm confused. All right, let's move yep. some stuff. All right. I'll let you run for a little bit. Well, you're so nice. Yeah. You're so nice. Here. It rained or something around here. It said it's like it rained around here or something. <laughs> Steer, not a bulldozer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. You were moving along pretty quick. I could barely keep up. Hey, don't forget, you got a backup camera in there, too.
too shabby for an amateur. No, no, it wasn't at all. You know what this makes you appreciate? What's that? The greater attachment. The greater attachment, <laughs> yep. Yeah. It makes that so much easier. It's like it makes it idiot proof. Yeah. Maybe we should call it the idiot proof attachment. Yeah. <laughs> all right, I don't know if that's got enough, uh, I don't know if that's dry enough to hold that truck up. What do you think? I don't know, it, it, it is wet. It, it is, is wet. Really wet. Well, what do you think? Uh, I'll run that little tractor up down through there, just kind of knock out them clumps. We'll let this weather, this sun beat down on it here for a little bit and yeah. see what happens. Yeah. I mean, Gordon said you got to take me out to eat anyways. You owe, you owe me, so. <laughs> Gordon. Yeah. Should we talk about old Gordon? Uh, yeah, let's talk about Gordon. Yeah. Where do we start with Gordon? <laughs> yeah, where do we start with him? Uh, Gordon. I, so, so let me back up here. I knew Gordon. So Gordon owns the local store we now buy our pipe from. Yes. I first met Gordon when he was settling pole barns. Yeah. And he sold the best pole barns ever sold. Yeah. And then he, then, then I don't know what happened. So yeah. then, ironically, Gordon become my Hyundai salesman. <laughs> and I told Gordon, I don't want no stinking Hyundais. <laughs> he gave, I gave Gordon all kinds of crap because he sold Hyundai. Like, a month after Gordon quit Hyundai, <laughs> I got a Hyundai. Poor Gordon. <laughs> Ironically, through the delay of YouTube, Gordon yeah. seen a Hyundai on the channel and he was not happy. <laughs> but Gordon has taken very good care of us over the years. Yeah. And we actually had an issue with uh, one of his pipes here a couple of days ago. And I, I wasn't complaining. I was just saying, hey, this is yeah, kind of what we come out. across. This and he... Uh, he went above and beyond, so we like yeah. Gordon. Yeah, he gave us a pretty good discount today, but he said you need to take me out for lunch break. That sounds like some everything. Gordon would say. And then, and then, um, and then he also said, "Well, he said no, actually, I think he needs to take you out to eat all week." So I'm all game. So how's for that, that any right different there. from what I already do? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to up our stakes. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. All right, so if you guys are ever in Hallsville, Indiana, and you want to stop by Southern State Supply and ask for Gordon, tell them Dirt Perfect sent you. Yep. You will not be disappointed if you get to run across Gordon. Yeah. He's a good dude. Yeah, All right, let's uh, let's grade this up. Hopefully the sun stays out, take lunch, come back. Maybe we'll do a test run up and down the hill of the truck before we actually spread. Can we start with the pickup, just see what it does? <laughs> <laughs> few passes with the tractor got it graded out got our profile and our shape looking pretty close this stuff here the reason we use it is cheap and we can dig it out of the hill right up there on top and if the moisture content is perfect or just right it packs amazing makes really good road base so saves us thousands and thousands of dollars of doing this the problem is if it sits here and soaks up water it gets a little bit too wet and then it gets a little bit smushy and spongy and it don't bind together once it gets bound together it is uh, good as gold. So we're gonna let the sun bake on this and dry it out just a little bit while we eat lunch. We may come back, just do a test run up and down the uh, hill with the truck and see how well it holds that truck up. If it don't hold the truck up, we're just gonna have to, uh, we're just gonna have to wait and uh, come back when it dries out a little bit. If it holds the truck up, we'll spread a little top stone on it and uh, get the edges cleaned up and call it good. So let's find out. You ready for the moment of truth? Yes, we are. It did dry out some while we were at lunch. Yeah. This is going to go one of two ways. Yeah. Really good. Go oh. and cut the film, cut the camera. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, I'm just going to hover the floor and cross my fingers and see what the old Mac does. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Oh. 
See, that's not good. Now, who was right? Who was right? This guy was right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes he just needs to learn to listen. Oh man. Yep. Grounds for termination right there. I don't know if you guys remember, but we were talking about how wet it was. It was really, really wet. I said to wait. Let's not do it right away. Let it set a day. Somebody was impatient, didn't want to wait. Made it halfway. Made it halfway. You got by my front tires, I made it more than halfway. Nah, front tires don't have See, right there where I spun out is where we didn't disturb that very bottom layer. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I just slid that whole bottom layer off. Yeah. Squished her out. Because it was holding me up decent. <clears throat> wow. All right, what do you think? Uh, grade her out and let her sit in the sun a little longer and try it again? Yep. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bob's listening, man. <laughs> All right, Aaron's hopped on the Hyundai. We're gonna clean down a little bit of dirt up. I dug out the ditch. I'm gonna try to get this road straightened back up here a little bit. Man, that right there with the front tires is that's actually encouraging. It's right there where I slipped out at. I think if I would've made it a little bit farther when we disturbed that bottom layer where it wouldn't have slipped off would have had a little better chance but you win some you lose some that's just kind of the way it goes so get this cleaned back up a little bit we'll let her sit and we'll try her again after the sun bakes on it for a couple more hours man behind the scenes we got it all cleaned up looking good got our ditch straightened up got our catch basin built got the road regretting you ready to try it again no absolutely not come on now we're gonna listen to me hey i think i was one gear away from making it <laughs> a little more momentum we uh, would have pulled her right on up there no, no that was wet and it's still even though you worked it it's still it, it's wet. still wet. so what you guys gotta realize is this material whenever it sets up and dries it's like concrete yeah it gets harder in the rock so it's gonna be good eventually we do have to get this done tomorrow, so I say we let it dry this evening, see what happens. Maybe we'll hit her one more time in the morning. Yeah, let's use patience here. If all else fails, we'll just dump it at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. Take the little uh, Hyundai, pack her up there. Yeah. And uh, get her finished up one way or another. You could drive a vehicle up and down there just fine right now. It's just the uh, 
80,000 pound truck. Uh, yeah. Or if Hoover's watching, 68,000 pound truck. <laughs> <laughs> it won't quite go up the hill. So, all right, let's go get caught up on a few other things and we'll try this again in the morning. We're back. Yes, we are. What, what, what is this? Sometimes you gotta believe in yourself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, perfect work apparel right here. It's white, <laughs> it's a white shirt. I know. I had to bring a backup because I never know what you're going to get me into. So I brought a gray shirt too, so if it starts to get too bad, if I ain't just holding the camera, I got to switch shirts. All right, so this is what, uh, three days removed from our first attempt? Yeah. Got a couple good days of sun. I don't know if you guys can tell, right there, it's like there was some water bleeding out of the ground right where that soft spot was at. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on there, but this is what I'm thinking. Let me do a test run up through there, see if I can make it again. Yep. If I make it, we'll fix my ruts and we'll spread it. If I don't make it, we're just going to dump it right here and yep. pack it up there behind me. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Attempt number two. He made it up. That spot, that's right where that water's at. Hmm. I hope there ain't water line there. Him and Chris are bad about hitting water lines. Uh, well, you didn't hit it, but he may have smashed it. It's just that one stinking spot right there. One spot. One spot. It's bad. I'll tell you, you what. You sure you didn't hit a water line there? <laughs> the water line's over there, I promise I you. Just, when it comes to water lines, I don't trust you, and I don't trust Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got a lot of good dry rock down here. I'm going to grade this one time with a greater attachment. I yeah. say we spread it. I say we just go for it. Yeah. Guess we'll see what kind of skills I got. Yeah. Sir, there's not gonna be no second attempt. It is what it is now. I hope it don't get hung up. Okay. 
Yep, you're up in the air. Alright. I think I am going to get the... Uh, Got a half a load maybe in there? Hey. Okay, take the bed on down now. Take it all the way down. down. The bed, I mean all the way down. It's down, it won't go down to the way it down. Oh. All right. Let me. You're good. Hmm. Well, if he wouldn't have done that, we'd have had plenty of rock to make it to the top. All right, truck's still in one piece. It ain't flipped over on its top, so we're good. Uh, now you just got to do a little grading out. Man, behind the scenes, after all that, I still almost made it. Almost. It, it <laughs> did. I think the ruts may have got you a little bit. Um, I think you'd have plenty of rock to make it to the top if you didn't dump a pile right there. <laughs> I had to get my steer tires back <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> uh, well, I took off, and I was worried about keeping the truck level. I didn't realize I had my bed oh, engaged up. Oh, it just up. kept going. Yeah. And yeah. That's what got me in trouble. That's what got you in trouble, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just if you want look, to do any, uh, I just under... look, look over and you're like, uh, you're off the ground. I'm like, yeah, I see the sky, <laughs> buddy. I got it. Uh, well, this is a great opportunity to do a little more work with a Hyundai. Yep. All right. All right. Well, that was, that was fun. Did you see how now, smooth I went back down there? It was, it was smooth. It was very smooth. Like yeah. All right. So, all right. Well, I guess take out a little bit of polish left and you want to pack it to the top pack and to the top. we'll yep. grade her one last yep. time and. Man, look how good that was looking too. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Even from the start, I know. You got one little anthill there, and that was it. Yeah. I mean, you see, whenever had, whenever it started going up, water of the year right here. Whenever well, it, started, it might be spreading the water of the year. Whenever I felt it start going up, <laughs> you don't want to stop. You might as well just keep going until she sits down on the back. <laughs> Let her bleed out a little bit, then you can back in there and take off again. <laughs> not that I, not that I have experience of that yeah. happening or anything. Uh, All right, you're up. All right. What a bummer, so close to having a perfect spread. It don't help our calls in that rock is extremely wet from all the rain we've had the last couple days. Alright, I'm gonna let Aaron get that. I think it's just a bad spot. Right yeah, it's just this spot right here. <laughs>
if that's going to be a wrap on this one. Yep. Gravel hopefully, down. gravel down. Hopefully, with our uh, truck on all wheels, <laughs> all, all uh, how many wheels we got on that thing? Ten. They're all on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I think, I, I think you're a little more panicked than I was. I think I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was just enjoying the ride. Yeah, I know you were. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it'd come down softly if you did it right. So, all right. Hopefully, with the uh, ditches and the new pipe and all that stuff, that'll eliminate our whole big parking area down here getting washed out yeah hopefully it keeps me in the family and hopefully it keeps grandma happy that's right that's the that's two the main, main if it does nothing else other than keep grandma happy this whole yeah. job is a success so all right we gotta move on to more important stuff like go-kart racing hey i like that so tell them bye so we can get out of here all right y'all have a good one you've got to tell them to like subscribe and comment oh, yeah. it's all free remember it's free for them to do that usually you do that and if they want some Don't actual legit t-shirts like, subscribe if you want to see me again is that right <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> and if you want legit t-shirts, not this stuff. Good t-shirts here. <laughs> you will not find that on shopdirtperfect1.com. All right. You guys know the routine. We're out of here.